Mute me. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, monthly rematch. I don't know. Um, a couple of people changed, I guess, here and there. But he's playing. Anyway, SD, shortbow. Let's give me Xanta Claus. Xana, -na 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 -na. Or Xan, or anything else that he wants to be known as. Previously known as Xana, -na 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 -na. Is, I think that's actually correct as well. Explosives Alchemy Hollersmith over on Hollersmith Engineer, of course. Great Free Me, aka the Man of Cows. Uh, Honor, Valor, and Firebrand. That is Man Cow. Uh, Magi with Water. Standard everything else, pretty much. Necro, gonna be playing Scourge, except to Torch Staff. Traveler with, of course, Curses, Soul Reaping, and Scourge. ASDFAFHG. S D F H F G J R A R T G C. There you go. As soon as you start being annoying, people start games. It's just the way it is, even though it's not come out on stream yet. That's going to be Misha or Mesmer playing Mirage <laughs> Adventure with Karrion Condi, of course. The confusion. Confusion coming out of Frostball as well as he plays Mirage. Then we've got obviously the Druid coming out from Zom. Grand's going to be playing Bunker. Firebrand. Synod is, Synod is going to be playing Scourge. And Vance is going to be playing. 1v1, mainly side roll for the Spellbreaker Warrior. What's going on the map, right, as we start this series? One up for Ally Kiwaz. They won the winner's final. It's going to be a best of five, but obviously one up means that they only have to win two games in this series to complete the win. Just like that, blue team Absolutely. takes a capture point. A little pressure. It's going to be fine. Just put up. Vans is currently one versus one against Sin. That sort of dagger build bit more than his dagger pistol build might. Frostbow gonna make the rotation over though, and back over a mid into actually going very low. The portal though from Frostball is good, and that's gonna bring everyone over to Temple. Sin's gonna be alone against four members of this team, Nishi portaling through as well. Just just Wait, regular that? that's like that one of their main uh, tactics that they need to make sure they're on top of. Yeah. I think they actually did okay with that to be fair as well. And actually they come out. Sin's gotta be careful though. Yeah 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 I don't think yeah. Oh wow, they changed it up. Actually, Vance and Frostball went mid. Sin didn't might go down. Oh, the cleanse is good from Pran there. Torment is going to kill him. Does have his heal as well. He might see a bit of a, a stalemate here on this temple node. To fire yeah, I think they're on the wrong side of it though, aren't they? Oh no, maybe not. Yeah. Look at that Cran pumping out that defense there. Vance mid. It's all on the side, but this time it's in the team fight, team fight side. Sin is going to come into plus one. There's Frostball following him. Frostball's main job as well is a lot. He's going to be in this game. He's going to be following Zint as well. Like, you know, they've not got that thief to follow him. And I think he has to do that and actually operate a lot of the rotation himself, obviously, because of the portals and whatnot. We have a little bit of an issue. Does have to back out. Zint pops up onto him. Yeah, there you go. He's going to go down, potentially. Zan offers a lot of pressure. Frostball's got nothing left. No portal. There comes the Condi spam from... Nice knockback. That's good. That was uh, indeed Zan with the rifle. Cran started a res, Solid. but he's going to be too pressured out. Van's yeah. staying on the node. Cran's going to be actually brought into downstate too. It's going to be two kills now for Red Team. Sinan going pretty low as well, getting that? chased by Sinan. Oh, Red nice juke there, though. He stops and uh, he's able to force him to jump down. That's the first so. team fight win. Anyway. Yeah. Misha a bit low on mid, but he's going to be fine. The Zan is there to help him out. Sin coming up as well. Zombie just going to sap on him down a little bit. Not going to do much, but at the moment, this is Red Team's game. Yep, Sin is indeed playing SD at the moment. And proving a lot more successful since switching. I think they've pretty much won every game, actually, haven't they? I think they've won every game versus these guys since they switched. Yeah, they have. So it was 2-1. Uh, Interesting. See whether or not they can keep it up. This is survive a little bit more. It's got more evades. It's doing. It seems to be doing okay as well. It hasn't got as much map presence. It does mean does mean he can one v one more, so it doesn't need it. I guess Indo is going to drop very low. Almost up on mid, but Manco is able to just knock them back. It's going to be two versus three here. Red team Grand. wins no the capture point. Crossball to bail them out if they need it as well. Just like that. They get the double though. team takes a capture point. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they, they lose Temple, but they answer with Alter. Imda might go down here, though. He should go down. There's no yeah, way Yeah, they spelled so much well. time in this 2v1, though. In, in versus a Scourge. <laughs> it's like... 
That was a lot yeah. of time. Yeah, they lose stillness as well. I mean, that's a lot of commitment to that 2v1. I mean, they really need to snowball this map quickly. Because even if they get the, the D cap mid and the 4 cap, they've still got two caps in favor because they've got stillness. Um, but they need to they need to get a kill here. Potentially on Zan. That's not going to happen. Zan, to be honest. Maybe even Grapefruit. But he's still in a good, doing a great job, proving that doesn't matter what he plays, if he's playing support, he's doing the top job. Getting the win today. Possible trying to come over towards Vance now as they engage in this 2v2. I think actually this is looking, going to look pretty good for them. Frostball's going to disengage. Hopefully they use that fact to their advantage. Yeah, he's going to... Zan over towards mid again to send, but I mean, this doesn't really get them anywhere. They're two versus no. two versus one on two points, and point. completely outnumbering Misha over at Alter. They, they're gonna pick it, upside, the yeah. gonna be upside. Yeah. This is Man, this is where they live right now. They, this is where they live. They live on the sides. Uh, so now it's up to see. Now we, we get to really see how they deal with this. Obviously, they got the decap over on the temple. And they team up there. Sin can now 1v1 that for good, a little good bit. Good portal there for Vans and, and Zombie to switch spots. Sin's forced to move away. Can't one versus one the Druids. I expect Frostball to use a portal to get them out of this. He in just did, just oh, he did, just ported them back in? or? Uh, no, Vans and, Vans and Zombie swap. Zombie came through just the portal. Like that, I've takes a capture oh no, it's actually going to keep him contested. Sorry, yeah, that was the best. Really, the way they did that was Red the best way they did that. I, 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 think I got confused. I thought it meant I thought the Frostball was going to come back over to Temple, but no one remained there, so it's absolutely fine. But now, still keeping the sides, just decapping de mid, letting them have it back. Oh, they don't want to get caught in rows. Oh, though, they ton of burst coming out from Zan and into there. Good. Good coordination Fine, from the two, but Fran is able to heal him up. Fran actually getting caught a little bit behind. He's got no cooldowns though. Frostball, however, going to be saved by Zami over on mid. Losing out this one versus one against Sin. Sin now getting a little bit pressure, but Mankow getting win. That's going to be the decap though. Blue team is completely turning this game around. Yeah. Oh, and Sin even goes down. And he ports back down as well. I, I don't know if that was a mistake or what. It's going to slow the stomp down. Oh, that was a Manko nice. That was a but nice. Good deal to get this. Let's see, see that. Yeah. What? Frostball just missed the stomps? I don't, I don't know what that was. Might just be a bit of a bug spot, but he's going to be able to pull him out. Temple gets decapped, but... And now Zombie's going to start making the rotation down to Tranquility. Buff's going to two seconds. That's a great time to get a kill. Two kills! Tranquility this is Tranquility for them oh, in Stillness, yeah. potentially. They've got, they're have got they bleeding him out as well. Zan's going to get Stillness? Fun. Come on now. Really? Wow, I don't know how that happened. Very nice pickup by Zan, but Tranquility coming through is well, Vance, even better for Blue Team. That's Vance gonna completely cancel out the Vaughn should have gone stillness. Sure it doesn't matter. Did. They don't they don't need to worry about That's stillness. true, that's true. That's true as well. That's completely true. I mean Frostball needs help here. He's not gonna be able to survive too long against Sin on Sword Dagger and, and Zan. He does have his portal, he's gonna be able to get out. They don't wanna let him get too many nodes though. They need him to hold on to Temple as well. Zombie's gonna come in and contest this. So again, stillness just doesn't matter for them right now. It, you know, they had, like you said, they had, they had uh, two people killed. Tranquility was free. No reason to go to stillness. If it was still, if it was still for like two seconds, yeah, we did, we didn't see that. I'm like not just focusing right on that down state, which is an obvious kill. Guys, we're looking at the map as well. Calm, calm yourself there. I know you're excited because at the moment they could bring this back to a draw in the series, but it's okay. You could, you, I'm sure you'll get over it. You can talk about something that's special. Crown now doing a good job at just a, trying to push actually onto Imda. I think he's trying to lead something, but him and Synod get separated. A little bit too forthcoming there with that engagement. <laughs> As he walks into a Zan. He's a, he's a very, very big person at the moment. Celebrating Christmas on a daily basis. And actually, Vance could lose this 1v1 over on the side. Just needs to disengage a little bit. Just keep it contested. Frostball's going to follow Sind over towards the temple. Death stalks. Going to be okay just for now. Ha! Red team wins a capture Vance, point. Yeah, Vance going very low. Zombie coming in just in time to heal him up. He's going to get that support that he needs. He's actually almost at full health now. Very good rotation there from Zombie. Imda was thinking about coming over as well, but Cran and Sinid are both here off respawn. That should be side nodes one. As I say that, though, Frostball's going to get decapped by Sin. The sword dagger build again just. Proving too much for Frostball, especially Zan making the rotation, so I'll just drop the portal and leave. Make his way over to mid. 
not gonna be able to get a peek out there though. He might be forced to open the portal up as the damage he needs is coming to, out. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> he gets the support from the druid. Druid, I'm surprised. No, 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 druid doesn't want to pop through there. He needs to make sure he can reset himself before the thief gets in. Oh, Sin keeps him in combat. Nice one. He's gonna be fine. He's got the druid there. Blue so team he keeps kept for a little bit of time. Still, the lead is with themselves. They come back quite well in this game. Side point as well, contestion over on the other side of the map. Zan, absolutely fine and fire on Forge there as well. Fizz up support of his heel. They push Emda quite hard here. Oh, look at that wall. That was a very good line. Gonna be able to wow. steal this stuff on. He's still taking a lot of damage though. Sin Van doing a good job of staying on top of him. That line saved his Ooh, ass. It's interrupted that was good. too. A lot of CC pressure coming out. He's very low. His heal's coming off in two seconds, though. He might be able to get it up. He is, nope, he's going to be interrupted again. Oh, the pushback by the Guardian, though, was good. Gave him a little bit of a breather. He's going to be healed up. Sin on mid. Good job. Frostball actually gets taken down by Misha and Sin. Zombie should be able to get this res. Although Sin ports up. See if he does, he does have his blink. So it's port. Frostball it is. He might be able to get this, but Misha's here as well. A druid res coming through, not quite strong enough, however. See that? And that stillness picked up by Red Team as well. Point. That's going to be bringing the game maybe back in their favor. They're very, very close game here. And this should be able to get the lead for a little bit of time. Yeah, that was, that was a good, well. good blank by, by Misha. He definitely would have gotten that res if he was just sent away into it. Misha came up and made sure that kill was secured. And that zombie actually forced away from mid too. They can pick up mid. It's going to be very good for Need to be really careful while they do this. He's gonna go down. Sin gets a nice pickup kill there as well. They keep four men on the Did map. See that? That's Red gonna be good for them to start ball. to really pommel this game into their favor. Four minutes left. Shield us. And they will be fine in terms of the lead. Although decap over on the side now. And they pick up the Rush kill. Yeah. yeah. It's only gonna be taken out. Yeah, I don't know. Well, they've Very got five team. men on the map now. He's he's gonna go right to the right to the Just like button that, here. I blue think. team takes a capture point. We have to yeah, see where they uh, They've still got sides as well. I remember still yes. there. This will bring things even and bring it to a, a best of three, oh, really, one, essentially. Yeah. And uh, um, Misha just portals out to mid. Make sure they don't take that. Frostball is gonna portal himself out as well. Make sure Sin doesn't decap this node. Bear in mind, but, this map selection is in favor of LIQR. They pick the first map. The so second map is the choice, of course, of Crystal, De 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 Crystal Desert. So if they do pick up this game, that is, that's giving them an advantage, assuming that you know the first map they picked wasn't a mean map and was actually the map they wanted. But, you know, maybe they wanted Temple anyway. Either or, this is going to be a good win if they pick it up. But still... We've got 2 minutes 30 left on the clock. Uh, sorry, 2 minutes 30 left for Tranquility. So we've still got time to come back. But... I don't think that's going to happen. I think they'll just go... They could just go stillness, contest bottom, and just keep one cap piece safe. Um, I Or just contest and keep the 2 cap and let they them They don't even stillness. need to worry about stillness. No, yeah, they just they need one note. They just can't move, let them get Tranquility. Right. Tranquility's coming up now, but Zomi's the only one down there. If he gets it, it's 100% win. I mean, that's, that's pretty appeared. much game here, I think. Crossball and stillness as well, Zen will stop him, but that's going to be game. Yeah, no, no. So game number two, technically, first game in the series we're seeing, is going to be going to the way of Crystalis of Heroes. It's going to be tying it up one to one in this grand finals. Indeed. It's a close one so far. Will we go to our first ever final where we hit all of the games? I, I'm pretty sure we haven't hit all the games in the grand final. Closest we, most farthest we've ever gone is three to one. Yeah. Never seen a three to two. Okay. It could happen. Who knows? This is four, so though, and that's going to be the map pick for Crystal Desert. So they might have a bit of an advantage here. They did pick this one. Indeed, they did pick this map. So let's have a quick look and see how much we've got in terms of donations. Roy just bumped that up a hefty amount of $85. Thank you very much, Roy. 200 bucks. Guys, let's get some more donations in. $5, a dollar, anything you like, as long as it's a dollar <laughs> and above. I don't think you can donate any less than that. Um, 
a lot of people on the red team, obviously, have things to make up for. LIQR are now one apiece, but in this series, actual games won by Crystal Desert, the first one. So they're back to pretty much a best of three, which is going to be interesting. Now we're going to be able to see whether or not they can pick up a further two wins, take them to the final, and actually prove that pretty much, in all honesty, they will be the best team in Guild Wars 2 in terms of, you know, both regions. Because they've won they've won both regions now anyway. But they haven't been up against LIQR in any of those in those regions. So They would be the true champions. They of, would be the true champions. Of PvP and Guild Wars 2 in, in the current year. In the current year, in the current yeah. date. Yeah. In the calendar. Oh, coupons, yeah. Coupons? Uh, those coupons for, like, Walmart, if you send them to my address. Uh, yep. Oh, I'm putting yeah. that on there, but... I get some coupons, dude. <laughs> yeah, cool. I can, I can go shopping. Some clothes, maybe? Or... Buy coupons. yourself some pants and a jacket, perhaps? You're right, I don't have any pants, actually. Oh, wear pants. that's true. Yeah, commentators don't wear pants. Never had a knee. I'm always sitting. Anyhow, just waiting for. Yeah, no one see me from the back because the chair covers that bit. It's just the size in the front. I've got to worry about. Okay. Anyways, uh, we've what? got Synod waiting to <laughs> jump in here. Trying to have a discussion we'll about pants. Really. Way. Yeah. Oh. Always apt for that, Nibra. But. I'll talk about yeah. that later. It's fine. So. I'm still I'm still sticking with Crystal Desert Heroes. I don't know what you're I'm, feeling. I'm just... I, I, I... All right. Well, I that think I'm going to go a... for the same. Wow. Mm, I don't know. I do like... The bandwagon. I'm going to go yeah. on the... All right, I'm going to go on the other team for the sake of, of uh, competition. Good. But I feel like... I do feel like... Crystal Dead are a little bit well, more. Well, again, you know, we saw here. we saw Crystal Dead Heroes win the first game of their their series. Previous but series, they did then, that in the previous series, exactly. Yeah. Right. And and this and then now, like you are, I was able to come back and win two in a row, which is all they would need to win this tournament moment. Obviously, though, they did change Sinister Sword Dagger at that point. It obviously seemed help, and yeah. they lost this last game with Sinister Sword Dagger. So maybe that's not the change they needed at the moment. Definitely seemed like a couple of the rotations, though, I think were a bit behind for a red team. There was one point where I, what I really liked, I liked Frostball, you know, he kept getting almost 2 v one by Sind and, and Zan or Sind and Misha. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he wasn't able to do much there, especially with Sind on uh, Sword Dagger. And he he portaled, he he, portaled, he swapped himself with Cran and, and uh, Sinded. And there was no way they were going to be able to or to them. I think, you know, seeing more portals like that, seeing more rotations like that from the blue team is what's going to win them this game. And possibly the series as well. Well, there you go, Sinden joining up. I think if they had a DP thief, they actually did. I don't know. I don't know if DP Thief is the way to go. The match starts nice match soon. starting now. This is going to be the third match of this series. <clears throat> Both teams tied up at 1-1. One to one. Best of 5, so each team needs to win in the next two games. Or another two games, I should say. Indeed. Donations are still open, guys. If you type in exclamation point, UGO, all caps, you to the donation page. Joe said earlier, all donations are welcome. Go straight to the players. We appreciate it. Anyhow, in going. Zombie going to start over at his home node on Mansion. Sin's going to take Windmill. We're not going to see an early kill here like we saw last time. Someone pushing over towards Windmill. Sin's going to get plus one by Frostball. Misha going to come over as well. There's Blue oil from Frostball. Going to bring Cran through Decent and ball. bring Vance back. Mid. That's it. So what's about? We've got a, have we got a counter portal there? I just missed. Yeah, yeah. Misha did portal. As well, I guess it didn't miss it, so it, it's fine. Um, but he He's gets really pressured well. there. Yeah. I mean, 
Good point as well that Misha brings up in check. It's getting a little bit, we're getting a little bit testy about the amount of time people players have to wait. In all honesty, that is literally the amount of time that people have to wait to play because a lower bracket, loser bracket final gets played. So really, what it is is about the fact that even if you win all your games and you get to the winners final and get to the grand final by winning, you do have a little bit of waiting to do. Whereas blue team get to play cons cons consistently in a row. Which is actually fairly oh, beneficial, see. especially in lower bracket comebacks. That's why they're doable as well, because you're playing a lot more. But in a, a lot more, if you're playing a lot more in a long time, it kind of sucks. Like, that's the worst situation. But this is in a shorter time. It actually may benefit them quite heavily. I have to see. I mean, they've got a lot of sustain around the map right now. They've got the solid rotation. I mean, that portal back over I to Wimble was quite nothing. good. Sin will go down though, over on the wind like no. And Cran again. Oh, they're really good at pressuring on the downstairs. That was four four players though as it well. It was four players, four yeah. Players yeah. After losing both Misha and Zan over at mid. That's uh, very true, that's very true. But go, did he go down job. for the res at all there? He, he did rest, start yeah, he did. to. He should just, just don't, just don't. Just don't. Nah, no, probably in that situation is best to just leave. Frostball gonna contest this against Misha over at mid. Vance is doing what he can, but he's not gonna be able to hold this note against three players. Actually, he is! He's, he's gonna get feared off, actually. Oh, Frostball look at Frostball! <laughs> nice that pour, nice. though. That's gonna bring Vans over to Windmill. Sin coming back through, though, as well. Or back over, I should say. I I've, I've, I've gotta to say that... Frostball's portal in the game at the moment, probably he's probably got the best portal plays in, yeah. in Guild Wars 2, both regions. There is yeah, no, does, there is no doubt in that right well. now. But this map just gets completely turned around, where you saw a yeah. double cap with no node for blue, uh, for red I should say, now it's the exact opposite. Red team gonna be coming through with the double cap. Fran doing what he can over at Mansion, Synod. Be going a bit low, but it's gonna get healed up. But blue team desperately needs to get some nodes. Windows decap. I say the sides are decapped. Normally it's a sign that they're going to be coming out here with something, but I like caps, but that's not going to happen. Gets the backup from Sindo on the side. He's going to get back on the node. Misha went off node a little bit too early there because he got the cap. Want to go for a little bit of pressure. Now Sind is on Frostball. Here comes Zan. The back. I want to watch Frostball out for as he comes in. Careful. Yeah, Frostball needs to no. bail. Like, yeah, he's gonna go down. No way Zombie can res that. Three versus one, even with the Druid power. And Zombie actually oh. might go down himself. That laser coming out from Zand is just so strong. To capture he just... He's got Signet and... Stone still up, though. He's not, even gonna, he's not gonna use that. He's got Celestia Avatar, so he's gonna be fine. Did you see that? Red team still got mid. Point. Mansion is still in contestion as well, though. And they're doing okay right now. I mean, this isn't gonna end until, you know, forever. There was no time that they would literally be fighting forever. If we see Sin going over towards mid now, in his point of view, especially with Zan, the coordination of that attack was pretty decent, but Vance did do a great job. So he has to back out. He's going to plus over, plus, sorry, over on Mench. No. He's just disengaging for a reset, trying to find Frostball. He's going for the damage on him specifically. Sin is in big he's trouble. He's going to be brought to downstate. The conditions turned on to him. Vance is downstate so too, though. Misha is going to get the stomp. Rally Sin, very nice stop there from Misha. Man, he wasn't able to do anything. And the points, six points difference right now between these games, uh, in this game. Cran and Sinan, still in a two versus two against Sim and, and Mancow, but as Sin starts to come over, they're gonna actually leave the point. They're gonna make the rotation on the mid. So we are gonna see the double cap. Things getting a bit closer. Oh, they will kill on Sin, actually. Red team it. wins yeah, a capture Sin. point. Put out there. That means they should be able to roll over to Mansion. Plus one this quick. Frostball's going. Frostball's really just trying to pull them out across the map. But Misha's not falling for that. Uh, Zan can stay here for a little bit of time. Doesn't want to 1v1 this, though. So Frostball would disengage. Oh no, is he going to try and bring Sind in? It's like potential to do that. Hasn't got his portal up yet. Is he hanging out? Sind can't port onto him. He said. It's a little bit bad. Oh, but they didn't real. see Misha coming in. He might get the res. No, the good knockback there from Fran. Shouldn't be able to get it in the stomp as well from Fran. But they interrupted oh. by Mancow. Still, he's going to be yeah. too low and cleaved out. Yeah, but they're but that is going to hold the node for a little bit longer, that means. And they're actually going to be ahead now. They can keep that 3v2 as well. Just cap it. Oh, they need the cap. 
I think they were yeah, they just want the, want... trying to get the kill on Mancal, but yeah, like you said, they, they should just go. But for look the at cow. this. That's played well. I mean, Vance is going for the kill on Grapefruit on Mancal, sorry, and they, Misha's still going to play around with that. That's they're dividing and conquering right there, even in an unnumbered situation. They're still quite high on health. I mean, Mancal's got no cooldowns. He might take get lost out here now. I mean, Vance has got obviously the power damage. Can get through that. Condition removal's gone as he loses that utility. He's got nothing left other than protection from the shield. He's going to disengage. Oh, no. He's got his third book up. There you go. And he's back in the game. <laughs> wow, they really, there you go. They needed that kill, I think. They're okay at the moment, points-wise. You know, they do admit an... I, I think but... I, in that situation, Ooh. when you've got them split, the cap. Get the cap first. Like, just gain your... Scabby yourself. They've got Windmill. Frostball's been playing this. As well, yeah. yeah, he's been playing this situation over here pretty epically, in all honesty. I think it's been 1v2 at different points in time, and then they've had to just think about how they're going to go back into the map, go back over towards mid now as well. Misha's going to 1v1 versus uh, Vance over here, who is... Ooh, Fran brought a down state over on mid. Sin very low, but he's not going to be able to do anything Sin is alone. Zombie coming in to peel him out, but they should probably just leave and go to Windmill, no? Pick up the side note. Did you see that? No yes. Yes. See there's 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 for that to happen. I mean, the thing is... That... Your seat. Yeah, and unfortunately, Zen's able to pick that point up. Red team wins a capture and point. get mid as well, so that's going to be. I think Frost should have just tried to test that point longer. Bring his army over. He's he getting pretty heavily pre I mean, with what you said, they did move over too far in the, in the first place. In, sorry, in the end. A little slow, though. So he hung around at mid a little too long. But, uh, they ended up losing. They are going to be able to decap now, but. I mean, still yeah. certainly in favor for blue team. They do have, they do have the game at the moment. Rossball is starting to get that decap on mid. He's going to be forced off by Zan's elite as well as Sin and Misha. Sin staying on top of Rossball, but the portal from Rossball, as always, again these portals. Although now Zan is waiting for him on the other end. I'm still like, like Zan using Elixir are just like they nerfed that a long time ago. The cooldown on the rest. Misha gets deleted on mid by Sin and Frostball and Cran. Great stop coming up from Cran as well, just to secure that kill. I didn't want to wait around and let him get rezzed. Sin's forced to leave. He's pretty low. Misha also kind of low. Frostball going on top of him. He's going to engage. Frostball actually going to follow Sin over towards Zami. Zami has his signal to stone, but he's very low. He needs to be careful. Yeah, but potentially. Over to him. It should be okay for a minute. And that I might be so. deep up on him. Thank you doing what he can, though. But the fans I, just scared to leave Manchin. He doesn't want to risk it getting decapped. Probably the smart choice at this point. I really, I just to talk about Elixir again because I'm not mentioned it at all during this cast. And normally I do when I, you know, I'm like with engineers and Hollowsmiths. But like that, re getting that energy back up, like the dodge is so good on that build. But obviously, you know, Red that's it, and it gets a little bit of a cheeky point. res as well, if you should so wish. But it's not the main reason he's using that, obviously, I guess. But. They've still got the two cap. They're really clawing their way back into this game. They've got. <sighs> Ooh, Cran gonna get in the downstate very, very quickly. They're pushing the wrong place at the moment. I mean, that yeah. that's not a good engagement <laughs> from them whatsoever. Why are they doing that? Are they coming in for the res? No, no, no. no, no. Just coming it's back to make sure Sinner's able to get out, get okay. through that portal. They can win mid here, maybe pick up a kill, but Synod's going to be brought into downstate right after that portal. Yep. Everyone on the red team is waiting for him. Van's trying to get the res. And it's going to be good. He needs to stick Vans up there for a little bit. Frost, uh, Frostball got to be able to come through, yeah. They need to put some pressure oh, on this point. Misha oh, Misha's going to be brought into downstate. Misha, though. He just gets his heal off. The bleeding takes one Zan's down as well if he doesn't get off that point right now. He needs to get out. It's like standing there, it's standing yeah, there in stealth. Now, now. Everyone on red team is low. Oh! Imda's probably going to go down. Just gets his heal off in time, though. Zan coming back through as well. Some pressure. Okay, Imda. They, that's the Bad. thing. Knowing knowing your cooldowns and knowing that you can still keep pressure even though you're low HP, that is... And they turn it on play. to Synod as well. The elite well, pressure coming out from Imda. That's going to force fans away. I cannot believe red team just turned that around. Everyone on their team went down to about 10% health at one point or another in that fight. And they only lost one player from that, as well as picking up a kill. Very, crazy. very well played by red team. Blue team really need to be careful here. They're going to throw this game. I mean, that was that was quality, just patience and like just keeping it together a bit, not losing cool. Yeah. Not just like you know, sh 
guys, we're, we're going to get wrecked here. We need to know what's going on. Everyone's just running around with their pants down. They're not sure where they are. There's a, there's a little bit of luck, too, that uh, Misha was able to survive on about 300 health. Maybe. But, but still, just a little bit. But absolutely right. Health. No, of course. And, <laughs> and throughout the whole thing as well, they didn't get decapped. You know, they didn't lose the node. Someone, at, at, you know, there was one player from their team at all, at all times on the node. It didn't get decapped at all. Um, and, you know, they just rotated out whoever had the most health. And now, Chet. Red Team is just running away with this game. Chat is being very insane today. <laughs> i got to say. If Blue Team doesn't change something up quickly, they are going to lose this game. I think, I think they've already lost this game, in all honesty. I think it's just, it's just timing out. About 100 out. points behind now. This is the biggest deficit we've had so far this game. They might be able to pick up Windmill, but that's it. Yeah, that, that, that fight. And they picked this map as well. Yeah. <laughs> so it's the, like, uh, like you are lose on their map pick. And, yeah. Does it lose? Or lose map pick. Crossbow going to be brought to down. Synod and Crane going very, very low on mid. That is going to be game, I think. Indeed. As Synod is picked up here. Yeah, that, that one team fight on mid just completely threw the game for blue team there. They really needed to pressure some kills better. It seemed like they kept trying to switch targets and just stay on point. I think they just got a little bit overconfident. And that, that's my that's my main point about this blue team that I made earlier in the day. Just overconfidence. Like that, blue team takes a <laughs> they can get a little bit overconfident at time and at times and it can really it can screw them over. There's been that in, we've seen them in different tournaments, it's been the same and and that obviously leads to, you know, potential misplays, which is talking about essentially so it's like just making sure they can compose themselves as well as the red team guys can because obviously they've been in those situations they've got so much experience with pro league playing at tournaments lands everything else you know these guys i mean since the beginning almost not since wts obviously but um well either way that's going to be 2-1 in favor of liqr meaning that they only need to win this game on a legacy which again is their map pick yeah. Uh, so if they win this game, that's going to be it. However, if Crystal Desert Heroes can turn it around and win, which they they came very close to the first time we saw these teams win on, or play on Legacy, but they were unfortunately they sort of <laughs> yeah. yeah they they lost it uh, due to Lord Rush, a mm. couple misplays again. Yeah, you know, it's if they win, it'll be the first time we've ever gone to a full five games for this series. If not, it's going to be LIQR's tournament. Who's winning, guys in the chats? Who is winning, indeed? Could be the last game of the year we're going to see here. Maybe not. And again, guys, we're still at about $200 donation <clears throat> wise. If, we, this, if this is, in I fact, the last game, it might be the last opportunity to donate before we turn off the stream. So please, a couple dollars here and there from everyone is going to make a big difference. Uh, again, it's for these players, it's not for us. So we're not getting the money the players are. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching so far. And donating if you did. Indeed, we do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Almost hit 500 viewers today. Yeah, it's pretty good for uh, for the last tournament of the year. I'm pretty happy with that. It's good stuff. We'll be good to get some more donations going as well. Restore. See if we can get up a little bit higher. $200 in the end. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So, just going to tweet this out as well. So we can get a few more people in there. TCG is the uh, prediction there from chat for the winners. I might agree with that actually. I think TCG is probably the favorite in this match. <laughs> oh, TCG. Finally, in the end, Was they got there. They got the name, got the the competition actually not actually winning much until really pro league i guess was it was Sinan running traveler room before or was that a different scourge uh no i'm pretty sure one of the scourge was winning running imda is running it now but i don't think he was before and Sinan is now similar. running this room. they might have swapped but i could be wrong not seeing any differences really through these builds on either side. I don't know why a red team would really swap anything out there. Win. But blue team is going to have to play very smart here. They lost again. They did lose this, this map the last time they, these two teams fought. 
And again, I, I feel like, you know, the beginning of their games, they, they start playing a lot better, but then they just, they make a couple mistakes, they make a couple bad rotations, and like you are just completely capitalizes on it and wins the game. Okay. You're still on to Crystal Desert? Yeah, I think they can come back. I think they can win this game and win the next one as well. I think they can, uh, if... I think they will. I think they will. We're going all the way, boys. All the way today. Is that the legendary that Frostball's got? There's a Bifrost. I'm trying to the staff. The sword? It's not... Or is no, that's not... No, it's the the match so. starts soon. Oh, okay. Alright, oh, all right, okay. it's up. Look at the flashiness on it. My bad. Looks a little bit similar. Uh... As we start our fourth game of this series, potentially the last game of the series as well as the year for this tournament, guys. Mm -hmm. We have to see what happens. 2 1 for Hold LIQR on versus Crystal Desert Heroes. Uh, legacy of the Book Iron. Again, Zombie making his way over to Waterfall. Sin making his way over to Port. The rest of the players starting around mid. Band is going towards Corey as well. Portal gonna get drop by Frostball. Port coming up as well. He's gonna make his way over to Corey. Misha and Zan. Just Misha actually gonna follow him. Two versus two over here, as we've seen. Just right on the sin. Blue team takes a capture point. They're supposed to avoid that damage though. Oh, but damage come back on a Frostball, but here's the portal yeah. now from Frostball. Grand and Sin coming through. That's gonna make them leave. <laughs> they leave and themselves. Red yeah, team got definitely more portal through. action from uh, from Misha now as well, which is very good. Yeah, Vance is a little bit late though. Red team are going to be able to pick the graveyard. Let's do okay over in mid as well. Yeah, the two cap, only cap a piece. I, the chap still no one is saying who they think is going to win and what or why. I mean. Everyone's got balls enough to insult other people, but obviously not balls enough to actually, you know, predict a winner. So, you know, that's the thing. Kill... Potentially? No. So it's going to be okay. He's got that elixir ass. He has a healing turret up as well. Yeah, Zombie was fine. a little bit pressured. He's going to make his way back to Waterfall, but he's going to be too late. As Sin's going to get that decap. Playing a little bit more of a normal thief rotation there. He's going to get that decap and make his way back to mid. Pressure turning out of Frostball now, I expect. Although Frostball's actually turned the pressure on his Sin, and he, he ports straight into a whirlwind from Van. He's going very low. He's gonna have to be careful, otherwise he's gonna go down. I suppose that Frostball didn't jump onto Sin, actually, just like, to be fair. I think he was in stealth for a little bit, didn't see him, but also Frostball yeah, getting pressured. He's gotta be yeah. careful. Very close back. game at the moment, one cap apiece. Corey's been contesting this whole time. Frostball gonna come over. Portal is good, he's gonna bring them all back to mid. They're gonna try and burst one of these players down, maybe. Frostball's gonna stay court. This is this mission is just counter balling at the moment, I think. Oh, I guess Sin down in the end, Frostball. Does pick up the kill that time round. Interesting to see who's won those. They're not really fights, they're more just the following of the player who is who's quite low, and that's gonna be nice support. Oh, the up. res is so close there from Zan, but Look he's going to get slow. stomped out at the last second. And no Zan way. Now, no he's going to get healed up by Mancow, but an amazing stomp on Sind there. Very, very close to the res. That was a really good kill for them. And now Zombie's going to make his way over to Waterfall, but they need to, they need to get something from this. Right now, they're, they're really not taking anything from it. They get the kill, they're 4 versus 5 on the map, and nothing's happening. They still don't have the double cap. Sind's already respawned. They didn't get another kill from it. Sin it actually is going to be the one low here. No, they didn't, they didn't get any from, from that kill. No, really. I mean, they still got some kind of concept. Well, Vance is going to get the cap, but oh, they need to be careful about Sinid there. Bloody hell, that damage. Pretty intense from Sinid and... Crossball as well. Defense there, but they are going to be okay. Crossball just being okay over towards mid. <gasps> no way, no. Oh, nice portal. Are they going to transfer back over? There you go. They're going to initiate a team fight here. 1v1 over on the quarry as well. It's a good solid rotation from Blue. If they can outnumber and outpower their opponents, they do have only two here in mid at the moment. Zan is coming in. You cannot miss that man oh, right Fran now. Fran needs to be careful. He almost gets one shot yeah. by Zan coming in there. A lot of damage coming out. Sin's on the chase, but Fran should be fine for the moment. He's going to be able to heal up and just run away. Sin it on top of him. That's going to be... Sin has to be a little bit careful. It doesn't overextend to get turned on. But... 
Crane going to be all right. Good rotation from Zan. But uh, this is where the snowball is going to start if the red team doesn't turn anything around. Both side notes got from blue team. And no contestation really on either at the moment. Yeah, it's not too bad. And the they haven't got any kills, so it's not going to be like the worst snowball in the, in the history oh, no, no. Of, of the world. But it is, as you say, it's hard to break out from this point. Uh, if you, any team can do it, I think we've definitely witnessed that uh, these guys can. I need to make sure they get on the point and keep there because Vance is in big trouble. Look at that patience as they move into the point and get healed. Fran coming in though, he's going to be there able you to go. Up yeah, they need to leave it. Forced into his rest. Needs to go. Zan's going to get taken out if he's not careful. They come scrape through and they're fine for a moment. Oh, nice. Chaos on. Gets out of that though. Zan is going to be safe. Saved yet again. Zombie's going to be on his own though over at Waterfall against Imden Sin. Oh, they have to help for a little bit, but he's gotta be, they got to be careful though, they don't lose mid, but they are going to lose Waterfall now. Maybe decap. Thing is, they had two low members as well. Like Sindid is applying big pressure, and Zan is very low. Fear as well. Elixir S. There's Cram, and now he can really pump up the healing. While yeah. well, well, he is in that Elixir oh, S. Corey decapped. Misha decapped Corey on his own against Vans and Frostball. And this is Snowball Red completely stopped. The capture point. Red team actually get Waterfall too. Is that? Yeah. They're gonna get. A they could potentially get a free cap in the not too distant future. <laughs> because they needs to be very careful they don't let this game get away from Is Misha 1v2ing and almost killing Frostball? What? Misha just playing out of his mind. <laughs> he has he played it ridiculously. the note off, but I mean, that doesn't matter. Jesus. He decaps against two of them and almost kills Frostball during it. I, I don't know. What is Misha? It's certainly not human. <laughs> Rotationally, we've definitely seen. Uh, I think you know Misha's role would definitely be more of a one v tour today. He's confident in that in that player. As Frostball's definitely playing more of the rotational. Druid almost goes down on the other side of the map. Definitely playing more of the you know the rotational role with the portals and whatnot. You obviously seeing Misha bringing in the portals from especially more in the last series. Zan's and, uh, just fans. Oh, uh, rotation a bit too late there from Cran and Sinon, but he might be able to get the res anyways. Again, Port going to be good from Cran, Sinon applying a bit of pressure there too. Man cow and him is just a bit too slow Blue behind Cran and Sinon to to open it up. And at the moment, Blue Team still has a slight lead advantage, but it's a very close game. Only one cap piece for these two teams. And Sinon going very low still on Bori. It's two versus two. He's got to be careful he doesn't get down here. Should be fine though, as Cran is going to him up. This is getting into that Lord situation where we're just like, what's actually yeah. going to happen right now? I mean, who <laughs> is... Are, are we going to see Blue kind of crack under that pressure? Are we going to see Red just come together? Oh, sorry, the um, LIQR guys come together and actually push, get the kills, and just end up finishing on a Lord, which looks like almost an effortless movement from them, which kind of what it looked like uh, before. There's Sind on the backside of Frostball. There's... Misha as well gets the stealth. Would have thought they would have expected him to hover over towards Zom. They could have got a double kill there, but they didn't go for the. Oh no! Saying that, looks like Misha is thinking about it. Oh, they need to be careful. This is not a good place to be right now. Oh, uses that sword, but Zan knows where he's gone. There's the five. No. Oh my good lord! Link there. These guys out. are playing ridiculously well over here. Oh. He's so low, his heal's gonna come up, but it's not a lot. He needs yeah, to be really careful, he's still in stealth. He and they can't there. lose the node either. They're only about 15 points ahead of LIQR. Just and just they're like losing them. the node. They're both very low. If they get the kill on, on Zami, that might be... Yeah, but they've got enough the stealth each for... that they can move off the node and they commit to kills. So this is where they're gonna go mid and they should outnumber here, they do. Uh, Cindy's like the only one mid. Frostball, now that is a great rotation. Zom's gonna go down. He's the sacrificial lamb. They really need to get this kill on Cind. I don't think it's gonna happen though. I mean, they were gonna oh, lose two now. members. They do. They get a kill for a kill. So that wasn't a bad rotation, really. Oh, uh, when Misha's really low too, he does have his portal. He should be fine to get back out. But Frostball has a portal too here. He could come through and kill Misha. This is potentially a Lord engagement. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, there's 
coming through the portal, but it's gonna be two versus one, and red team has taken the lead now with that rotation, even if they get mid. The capture point. It's gonna be still one cap apiece, as no one has done anything really on, on Cory. Now Sin is gonna come over and plus one this Cory fight. Yeah, this is where they're planning. And this could 100% be yeah. red team's game. Oh, Cran is absolutely the target. Sin steals to him, interrupts. Oh, no, Very no. low. This would be Good pull back to Sin, though. Awful if he died now. It's been the worst. Vance not thinking about going so far. Obviously, because he needs to keep that mid cap. Blue team do have the only cap on the map at the moment. Zan is 1v2. They need to not be doing this right now. Zan will be there all day. Oh no, that? Misha Red comes in. Vance needs to go far, maybe. Uh, I think Sin can get past him. They're in a 2v3 Just far. Just like that. Sin is, and Kran still, still standing go around. Down state in a three versus, well, really two versus two, but. What Vance are they doing? But Frostbow's gonna what go up. What are they doing? They've just given up mid as well. Yeah, now Frostbow's gonna start. What? Maybe towards the floor? No. They're spending all day on Zan. They're getting that kill will be good, but now it's all about mid. Are we gonna see a full on team fight here? I actually think that would be a, might be a good idea for Blues. Is Oh, maybe not. Actually, we saw the wipe on uh, Kylo, but. Same, yeah. Different on Legacy, but not as easy if you to get out. Keep Warfall. It's still very close. The snowball map known as Legacy of the Foe Fire as they start to go to the Lord, but is this a potential Duke? Well, this is they where they confuse. No, because they went Lord first. But who are they sending? They're sending the more thirsty people here. Yeah, Red Team, Red Red team, team won this, surely. No one support. It's a base rush. All right, I'm gonna watch Red Lord. If you watch Blue Lord, oh no, yeah, I don't know. Frostbolt gets in there first. Blue Lord. Blue Lord's gonna be 70, 50 percent. He's in downstate. Yeah. Knocks that's... back is good, but no, nope, that's game. Red team wins. Why would you rush versus that team comp? Zan is beast. The damage is too much. They can't beat them in an equal rush. They just cannot. They've got Thief. They've got Burst from uh, the, the Hollow Smith. They needed to defend that, but I think they would have failed on that as well. Lord Racing, dude. Indeed. Well, that is going to be the Woo! Tournament 1, game at number 4 by LIQR. You're going to end up being 3-1 to one over Crystal Desert. Good effort by Crystal Desert for sure. In the end, it was not enough. And that is the whole Tournament 1 as well, as well as the last Tournament of the year indeed by LIQR. congratulations to them and congratulations to crystal desert as well for second place yeah good stuff indeed wow okay